What's up guys, how's it going? Mike the Tech here. And if you're like me, you probably have a list of commands that you tend to run whenever you start up a project. For example, that pesky texture streaming pool size, um, or even just turning on things like uh, showing your FPS in the editor itself. Uh, these are all things that should just happen by default or there be an option to, but they don't. So uh, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to create an editor widget blueprint that runs every time you open your project in Unreal Engine and runs a sequence of specific commands that you want it to run. Pretty cool functionality. So before we get started, if you're watching this video, chances are you're not subscribed because 99% of you are not subscribed. And that's a pretty bad number. So if you like this one, be sure to click on that sub or thanks button below. So onto the video itself, let's go ahead and switch over to the other camera. I have a standard third person project here where we can just run around and stuff like that. Um, and nothing else is really open. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and create a new blueprint and we'll scroll down and choose editor utilities and we'll choose an editor utility blueprint and we can just choose a standard editor utility object and let's name this startup commands cool so let's open that up and now we have a new blueprint with some overrides available so let's go ahead and click on this override and we're going to choose run so once it's run, it's going to go ahead and do whatever we want it to, which is pretty cool. So let's go ahead and drag off of run and let's type uh, sequence so that we can uh, run as many commands as we want. And let's add, say, like four, right? So first, let's go ahead and type execute command and we'll choose execute console command and the first one we can do is uh, maybe setting that texture streaming pool size so uh, we can type in r.streaming.poolsize space 8000 to set it to 8 gigabytes uh, that's how much ram my uh, gpu has so that's what i would set it to you would obviously want to change that to the pool size uh, that you want to run and then we can get a kind of confirmation and type uh, print debug and we can choose print string and print a debug message that says st streaming pool size set to 8 gigabyte something like that and let's set this to let's set it to 10 seconds just so that we know that it's run um, when it goes through we can actually see it on the screen uh, and then let's go ahead and create another set of commands and you can do this for as many as you'd like let me copy and paste these below and what i'm going to do is i'll say this one let's turn on fps so stat fps uh, stat fps turned on and then this one let's say that we're working with collisions so we want to show collision so we'll type show collision and then uh, showing wire frame on meshes all right so now we have three different commands that run let me connect these up and we'll just remove this last one you can have as many pins as you'd like to do whatever you like it to do uh, let's even change these colors to show that it's different uh, so blue red and green all right so uh, we can run this just like this and test it and you can see showing wireframes stat fps turn on streaming pool size to eight gigabytes and uh, that did indeed work we can see our fps here and all that good stuff but it's not actually going to run when we start the program we need to edit one more thing we're going to go into the config folder and open up default editor per project user setting uh, this is basically all that's really going to be in there right now. Uh, all we need to do is copy two more lines of code, and those are here. So script bl utility dot editor utility subsystem, and then we can specify which startup object to use. So in this case, we're using uh, startup commands is what we named it, and we placed it in the main content folder. So we'll just type startup commands dot startup commands, the same name. Um, both times then we'll go ahead and save and now we'll close the project and open it back up and yep as soon as it ran it uh, 
ran all the sequences uh, as expected and it turned everything on as expected so yeah that's it that's how you make a custom startup editor utility widget and hopefully this helped you out thank you so much for watching and have a good day peace Mike the tech, Mike the tech, huh? Mike the tech, the architect, huh? Mike the tech, Mike the tech, yeah. Mike the tech, the architect.